I've always liked asteroids. There's so much we don't know about them that it's really exciting to me that we're finding out about the ways they've developed, the way they move, the way their orbits change. I'm Andy Rifkin, and I study how the orbits of asteroids change after we hit them with spacecraft. NASA is crashing a spacecraft into an asteroid. The DART mission is NASA's first test of a planetary defense technique called Kinetic Impactor, and it's gonna smash itself into the moonlit Dimorphos, which orbits the asteroid Didymos, in order to change Dimorphos' orbit and show that we can deflect incoming asteroids if we need to. I lead a group of astronomers that are going to measure how much DART changed Dimorphos' orbit using ground-based telescopes all over the world. This is an animation. You can see Didymos and Dimorphos as one point of light. These curves show the brightness change due to Dimorphos moving in front of and behind Didymos. We can tell how quickly Dimorphos is moving around Didymos. We make these measurements before DART arrives, and then this is the same technique that we'll use after the impact to determine how much we've changed the orbit by. I make music, a lot of it, as you might imagine, has nothing to do with science, but a lot of it does. You know, I'm, I'm not, uh, not immune to, to the charms of writing, uh, writing a gimmicky science song every once in a while. So um, I did write a song about Dart. The mission goes by the name of Dart. <laughs> that double asteroid redirection test. And just one flick should do the trick. A lot of scientists definitely have a creative side. A lot of us write, a lot of us are in bands, or there's a lot who paint, and I think having that creative part of your brain definitely helps in science, just as much as it does in art. Practice planetary defense with DART. <laughs>